read uh, Isaiah 53 uh, verses 5 to 8. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. And speaking about the Lord Jesus Christ here, when he was crucified, all we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity or the sins of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shears is done, so he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people was he stricken. Now we know that this is speaking primarily and first and foremost to the children of Israel, those the Jewish people. But it has a secondary application to us. We see here that he was wounded for our transgressions. You know, the Lord Jesus Christ never had any sin. Even his thought life was absolutely perfect, immaculate before his Father in heaven. He never had an evil thought. You just think about that. How many evil thoughts have I had? How many things have I thought about which were not right in the sight of God? And you know, the Lord Jesus Christ is the perfect one. The one who could become the worthy sacrifice, the once for all sacrifice concerning your sin and mine. There is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. You know, the Bible reminds us, be sure your sin will find you out. See, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. You will see here in Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah, speaking about 700 years roughly before the Lord Jesus Christ came into the world, speaking concerning him. It was prophesied concerning his suffering. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. You know, we need spiritual healing. Because you and I are dead in our trespasses and in our sins. It's the thing that separates between ourselves and our God. It's called sin. God wants to rid you of that. God wants your sins to be forgiven. I wonder, are you concerned about your sin before a holy and righteous God? God sees everything, you know. He knows exactly what we were thinking even. And I spoke to a man a while ago, and he became amazed when I said to him, you know, God knows exactly what's in our mind. Yes, he knows everything. You know, we are very sinful in the sight of the Lord. We don't understand how holy God really is. And he is the one that we must come to face. There is coming a time, it says in the Word of God, the Bible, every one of us shall give account of himself to God. I wonder, does that make me tremble? Does that make me concerned and afraid? It should. Do I fear God? Am I concerned about my sin? You know, our sins can be forgiven. That's the whole point. That's why we're here this afternoon. We want you to know there is forgiveness with God, and it's only through His Son, Jesus Christ. We saw in verse 6, All we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned every one to his own way. We see that, aren't we? We're very much like sheep. You know, someone, you look at a sheep in a, in a paddock, and one sheep will go one way, and then the others will just follow. It just seems to be that sort of instinct in them. And we as mankind are very much like sheep. We're following each other. You know, you have a, um, a famous person, a person from Hollywood or something, in one of these movies, uh, someone a lot of people like, and they actually treat them as idols, really, to come to think about it. Or one of these great singers. You know, they'll, they'll do their hair in a certain way, or they'll uh, wear certain clothes. They'll, they'll start a trend off, and then a lot of people will follow that. You know, we're very much like that, aren't we? But you see, when we come down in the verse we see there, we have turned everyone to his own way. 
And so there is a slight variation. You know, you'll see today that there might be those with uh, holes in their ears, and then there'll be someone with a bigger hole in their ear. You'll have people uh, uh, having earrings, then they'll have bigger earrings, whatever. All these things are just, people are crying out for attention. And I believe it's all caused through pride. And pride is sin in the, in the sight of the Lord. That's what happened to Lucifer. He was, he, he rose up in pride. And he wanted to have the first place, as it were. And God couldn't have that. And so he was cast out of heaven. And I wonder, what is my concern? Am I concerned about my sinfulness before a holy and righteous God? We need those sins forgiven. Although we've turned everyone to his own way, we see there in the rest of the verse, and the Lord hath laid on him that is laid on Jesus Christ the iniquity of us all. Do you realize that he suffered on account of my sin as an individual before God? He suffered so much, we cannot understand how much he suffered, but he was tormented, and he suffered, and bled and died. He shed his precious blood that your sins might be washed away. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Have your sins been forgiven? Are you at peace with God through the Lord Jesus Christ? His repentance toward God, that is changing your mind, agreeing with God that you're a sinner, and then trust the Lord Jesus Christ as your own personal Saviour. The Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. See, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before his shears is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment and who shall declare his generation for he was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgression of my people was he stricken. Yes, it was for you and I that Christ died. But as we said, he was buried. The third day he rose again according to the scriptures. According to that which is written in the Bible, the word of God. Have your sins been forgiven? Have you repented of your sin? Have you repented concerning your sin? repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. Don't leave it too late. You know, you may be going on this earth and you might think, yes, I'll settle the matter of sin and, not, and forgiveness of sins and peace with God. But look, if you leave it too long, you will miss out. Today, if you hear his voice, that is the voice of God, harden not your heart. You need to be saved. You need to get right with God. Have your sins forgiven through faith in Jesus Christ. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Is he your saviour? Have you trusted him as your own personal saviour? Do it today and you can be forever and eternally saved. Your sins forgiven and a home in heaven, everlasting life through Jesus Christ. But if you neglect or reject, the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to warn you, you'll leave this earth and go to the place called hell where there's suffering and burning and torment. God doesn't want that. That's why he sent his son. The Father sent the son to be the saviour of the world. There's no need to leave this earth without him and finish up burning forever, eventually in the lake of fire, where the worm dieth not and the fire's not quenched. Come, to God, through the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Come to the one who said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me.